Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we are going to be using the free version of Clifton Fusion 2.5 as you can see on the screen and we're going to be making some sort of Mario game. I was going to say Paper, paper Mario but it's around the same idea. Okay so let's open Clifton Fusion 2.5 and uh, here is the example. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Here is Le Mario. Whoa, I almost fell that time. Okay, so let's open the example file and in there you're going to find some graphics and no events. Alright, here is Mario and that is just an aesthetic object. Let's change him from a static to platform object. Speed 20. Uh, gravity I'm gonna set it to maybe 35. Jump strength uh, 80 or maybe 90. Okay, let's try it out. Well, we can't really try it now unless that we do some events. So let's go to the event editor. And let's set Mario as uh, uh, actually uh, the setting always, so we can uh, scroll, so we can center the uh, screen uh, relative to Mario. All right. If it collides with the um, the ground, which is this active object here, which I should show you first, this here. Actually, I have laid down um, a few of them around. So if Mario comes in contact with this object here, he's going to stop. Let's try this. And you can see that this works right away. Oops. Let's try this again. I think he needs to jump a little higher. Let's... uh. Go fix his gravity. Uh, let's set this to 20, see what we get. And that seems a little better. Actually, you can go through this uh, right now. Um, let's create a collision between Mario and the brick okay and um, if that happens we're gonna make Mario stop and uh, we're going to set the speed back to zero straight out all right let's make the, the brick play an animation it is the animation hit which is uh, down here. All right. Straight out. And you can see that works uh, right away. Um, there's only one problem. Um, if Mario uh, collides with this uh, this is going to start moving like crazy to fix that uh, you simply uh, filter this so this only plays if uh, animation jumping is playing okay so that way it only works when you're jumping uh, so which means that we have to create another one when he's not jumping And uh, we are simply going to make him stop. All right. Okay, so let's um, create a collision between Mario and the mushroom. Okay, so if we come in contact with the mushroom. Uh, while this mushroom is not overlapping uh, the brick, then we're going to destroy it. 
and we can probably play a sound straight out oops let's place Mario over here oh no the mushroom is gone okay so let's make the mushroom um, at the start of the frame uh, let's make it stop let's make it invisible all right so when we hit the uh, brick uh, we want to start the mushroom and make it um, visible again reappear okay so that did not work and that is because um, let's see okay um, well the mushroom isn't overlapping this okay so let's negate this and now it should work all right um, if Mario is um, playing his uh, jumping animation we're going to repeat this only once when this loops display a sound display a sound when we uh, hit the uh, brick this line here And that works fine. Let's play some music. Let's loop that forever. Okay, I just noticed that the, uh, the mushroom should be in the back. All right, and um, we don't have any collisions for this kind of bricks or brick two. So let's uh, let's fix that collision between um, Mario and the uh, second brick. We want to make Mario stop. All right. So that's how you can make a game like Mario in Click Team Fusion 2.5 free edition. Um, now this still needs some adjustments, but I think you can take it from here. All right, thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All right, uh, don't forget. See you next time.